It's Terry back with you here at D-Lab Electronics with a follow-up video of the Cathedra amplifiers. As you know, these are built in old 1930s cathedral style radio cabinets. Okay. Now the big one, we just had a couple of videos on showing its performance into my extension speaker, which has two 12 inch Celestians, but it also has its own built in eight inch speaker made by Selenium. And I want you to hear what that sounds like. Then I've got this little brother here, which is a little tiny five water, kind of a class A amp similar to a Fender Champ, but it runs a 6SL7 tube and it has a built-in 8-inch Jensen Mod speaker. So I'll let you see how that one sounds with the built-in speaker versus the external. <laughs> sounds pretty good. This amp sounds monstrous. It has great, great tone. It is driven a little bit easy, but that's the charm of it, and it's the, just a great tone. So that was the big one. That thing sounds great, doesn't it? Now here's a little brother to it. This one runs a 6B6 Class A, kind of like a Champ, but it has a 6SL7 tube as the preamp, and it has a mode select for either tube or diode rectification. Let me show you the insides of it, and then we'll play it. So real quick, here we go. There's a Cathedra. Here's your power selector, gain, input for your guitar, treble, bass, and it has a master control. Tube lineup, 6x5, 6SL7, 6 6V6 6 output. This is your speaker jack, okay? Goes over there. And you can either plug in a four or eight ohm type by flipping the old switch. Output transformer, power transformer. Eight inch Jensen Mod speaker. Let's listen to it. Well, I got everything dimed out now. Oh yeah? 
I just turned full bore. Yeah. So this is on I'm the dual. Clean. Clean. I'm not nice and clean. Yeah. I think you could push the gain even more. <laughs> demo, you can definitely tell the difference between the internal speakers versus an external. Although the internal sound great and they'd be super for practice and these things will fit right on your tabletop, right? Anyway, as you know, D-Lab is always looking to repurpose old relics and give them new life. Here's another example. Hope you enjoyed it.